Hello again everyone, Marcus here, I review stuff. Today, I'm reviewing the song I Could Always Eat Your Brain by Harley Poe. This song comes as a request, so as always, if you would like to request something, just leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to get to it. So, uh, to my knowledge, this is the very first song I've ever heard from Harley Poe. Uh, so basically going in blind, not really sure what to expect. Just hope I get a good song out of it. So, anyway, let's give it a shot. Again, I Could Always Eat Your Brain by Harley Poe. I have a feeling maybe punk, uh, punk rock, you know, I don't know, just based on the artwork, but I, I really have no idea. Probably something rock related, though, just knowing the people on my channel. Anyway, here we go. Remember when we used to get shy, so would you please just hear me out for a moment before I hit my tongue and all goes wrong. I know it wasn't your fault when you pulled the ball smashed in my head, because accidents, they happen, and I'm still alive. Eat 
your brain. You could always eat my brain. I could always eat your brain. You could always eat my brain. I could always eat your brain. That was good. I loved that a whole lot. Uh, like I said, going into it, I really wasn't sure what to expect. My initial guess was just like punk rock based on um, on just the album artwork there. And I mean, sure, there was a little bit of element of punk in there, I guess. But uh, it ended up being more of a poppy sort of folksy song, but with just a very dark subject matter. Um, but very creative. I loved it. It reminds me of uh, the, the thing I instantly thought of was that movie from a few years back. Um, what was it called? Dead... Oh uh, no, Warm Bodies? Warm Bodies, was that it? It's about like some like teenager who becomes like a zombie but then fall in love, falls in love with like a human girl, right? It was, it was that whole thing. So reminds me a lot of that because I think that was, that was, that's what was kind of going on in the story there. So, uh, But I liked it a lot. It was, it was fun. It was silly. It was irreverent. It was just, it, it, was, it was a fun time and great listen and, and, and really good musically, I feel like. So let's break it down, of course, like we always do, starting with the lyrics. So let me pull those back up here. Here we go. So, remember when we used to get Chinese? Oh, would you please just hear me out for a moment before I eat my tongue? It all goes wrong. I know it wasn't your fault when your bowling ball smashed into my head because accidents, they happen, and I'm still alive, though I should be dead. So, yeah, again, it's it's about, like, a zombie. The dude dies. I guess he gets smashed with the bowling ball. He dies, but he reanimates. He comes back to life, and he, you know, he still wants to have a relationship with his with his girlfriend or whatever, even though she killed him with the bowling ball. Uh, I come to you tonight not to scare you or to give you fright, but to make sure that we're still an item and possibly spend the night. The half shirt you were sleeping in gives me a feeling deep within. I've just come up from the ground, and if we fooled around, would it be sin? Uh, some, some, you know, uh, uh, necrophilia there, perhaps. <laughs> but wait, you know, it almost seems that you're not happy to see me. My love has brought me back to you, so please tell me that you've uh, been true. It seems like I've been gone so long, my dear. My love for you is strong. Death cannot, death can't keep me away from you. In your hands, my heart belongs. So again, dude dies, comes back as a zombie, um, and still wants to pick up this relationship. Obviously, if you saw a zombie standing at the foot of your bed, you'd probably be terrified. And so he's like, "Hey, whoa! I'm not here to eat your brains. I'm here to just, you know, we're here to hang out. Maybe, you know, fool around a little bit. You'd see where this leads." And I can see that you don't see the sparkle on my face. And I notice that you don't notice that my heart is still in place. So you're upset and you're crying and you're walking out the door. And I find that you don't like me anymore. And then this part was spoken. Sweetheart, I'm home. I've come back to you. Holy shit, baby. I thought you were dead. 
I am. <laughs> so again, very silly, just very tongue in cheek. I think it's it's a lot of fun here, uh, just lyrically. No days have passed, and so am I. Oh, sorry. Now days have passed, and so am I. No matter how I try and try, I just can't seem to win you back. Maybe it's because the lack of hair. It's been falling out. I just can't get rid of this smell. No more hours of making out. Why couldn't I've just I have gone to hell. So basically, death would have been preferable to this. Sex used to be so good, and so was hanging out, but now you're obviously sickened by me, and I'm starting to doubt your love is true. Even though I'm dead, I've missed you every day, but my skin is rotting off my body, I'm starting to decay. And I can see that you don't see the sparkle on my face, and I notice that you don't notice uh, that my heart is still in place. So you're upset, and you're crying, and you're walking out the door, and I find that you don't like me anymore. And this part spoken again, baby, I've come back for you. No, no, get away from me. I missed you. You're disgusting. Just give me a kiss. Get away. Give me a kiss. Get the fuck away. You bitch, give me a kiss, I said. So again, coming back from the dead, wanting to pick up this relationship. Her not wanting to do it because obviously, zombie, I'm giving you just one more chance to change your mind and take this dance. I want to be your dead love slave. That's why I've risen from the grave. So take me as I am if you don't. But if you don't, I understand. But no, this hasn't been in vain because I could always eat your brain. I love that part. Then you really see a, a shift in the song here. Again, very poppy, very folksy. And it remains kind of on the poppy side after this part. But you definitely see a, a shift in the way the song is sung and performed, um, which I absolutely loved here. So. Uh, it, it, so it's a fun story again rises from the dead wants to pick up his relationship she doesn't want it and at first he's like man this sucks but then he realizes well you know maybe it's not all bad I could always just eat her brains <laughs> so I could always eat your brain I could always eat your brain you could always eat my brain I could always eat your brain etc etc goes on like that for some time so yeah lyrically a very just fun song very silly uh, again tongue in cheek just sort of irreverent I, I, I thought it was great I had a fun time listening to it the lyrics I think told a very interesting and creative story so I gotta give it two thumbs up lyrically it was just a lot of fun to listen to uh the spoken word parts i think uh, added a nice little touch to it uh the kind of back and forth with the i could always eat your brains you could always eat my brains with the hey guys sing this part hey women sing this part that uh, that that was pretty fun um so just overall like a very quirky take uh on this song and, and i mean just looking at some of their other um song titles i mean i feel like that's kind of what they do they're sort of maybe a you know how you have like shock rock you have like you know people like marilyn manson or whatever who make music to just kind of shock you and and, and to sort of appall and offend uh the senses right in rock i feel like this is sort of almost like shock pop it's like again very poppy very folksy but it it is very shocking i think lyrically to maybe the average listener and, and again i'm looking at some of their their other lyrics here i mean olivia pretty innocent what's the devil to do gets a a little bit more in there i could always eat your brain okay now it's a little bit more like shocking corpse grinding man okay a little bit more now and then this one the girl had syphilis live again there to be i think kind of shocking so um I, that's the whole point behind it i suppose but I, I thought it was interesting still uh lyrically like i said two thumbs up if I didn't already say that, two thumbs up there. Um, and then as far as the instrumentation goes, I, I just really loved, again, that sort of poppy vibe to it, that folksy vibe with the guitar and everything. It just, uh, again, it's it's like sitting around a campfire and then you're telling a story, you know, on your little guitar there. Uh, and even reminding me of sort of like, like retro pop, retro rock, like a, a retro sort of love song, uh, but with, of course, that sort of horror movie twist to it. So I thought that was really cool from it as well. Um, I, I would say that, like, instrumentally, there's not anything here that like I, I feel like oh i haven't heard that instrumentally before that was so creative but that was interesting it is sort of your standard like pop or folk fair I, I feel like but the way that it's used i think really elevates it you know obviously it's used for that again that shock factor to it so um i really enjoyed the instrumentation here and what they were able to do with the song and the story that they were telling um I like when they picked it up a little bit here and there, but I, I like that they kind of kept that same tone throughout. Um, so overall, just, I mean, like super enjoyable instrumentally. Vocally, I also really liked his voice. Uh, again, I think it worked really well with what they were going for. Again, storytelling-wise, instrumentally, it had so he had sort of that pop uh, folk vibe to his song that I, I really enjoyed. So um, honestly, just a solid performance. I give it two thumbs up instrumentally and vocally as well. Um, then as far as replay value goes, this one's weird in all the right ways. And so for that reason, 
reason. I definitely want it on my playlist. I honestly can't wait to listen to it again. So this one's going on there for sure. Uh, love the the lyricism, the the quirkiness and, and just weirdness behind it. Uh, I love the sort of poppy instrumentation. I love the vocals. Um, just the different kind of movements you got throughout the song, the different storytelling aspects. I mean, it's just a fun song. Uh, so for sure it's going on the playlist. I gave it two big thumbs up there as well. Overall, just a solid request, guys. Thank you so much for whoever requested this one. As always, if you would like to request something, just leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to get to it. If you enjoyed the music as much as I did, of course, go support the artists. Go listen to their music wherever you can. And one place you should be able to find this song is going to be in my Spotify playlist. It's in the description below and it has every single song I've heard so far on my channel. Of course, if you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, you know, like and subscribe and comment. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.